I'm with the clock. Yes. So, so we you, start. Hang on. We'll start with the easiest way, then we can go on to harder okay. levels. Okay. So the easiest thing to do is, is to start with well, o'clock clock. and make sure that your child's really confident in doing that. You can use one of these clocks. We have little ones that are available to buy on our website. And, and what so, should you do? So I might give um, you a time. So I might do ten. Mm -hmm. The little hand pointing to ten and the big hand pointing to the twelve. Yep. It's really important at this point to make sure that your child knows that the minute hand has to be pointing to 12 in order for the time to be o'clock. If this isn't made clear at the beginning, they may start to think that every time is o'clock. So you'll make six o'clock. Yep. And then what should you do to write it in digital time? Yep. So talk about how the six goes first and then o'clock will always have two zeros afterwards. Sometimes children forget to put both zeros, so just give them the whole reminder that we should always have two it numbers doesn't there. Matter if, it doesn't matter if you do one. If you do one zero, <laughs> then your mommy or then your parent can say you need two zeros, then the child can just put another zero. It's yes, fine. They can. Because the, this is a whiteboard. Happen. They do. Because it's a whiteboard, after that we can just rub it out and you can keep going and making making some other times. Yes. Once the children have mastered the reading and writing of clocks, they can go on to the fives. We have little magnetic number cards here with the multiples of five on that your child can practice putting around a magnetised clock. So we have just these here. We always start with five and when you get to 60 at the top, you can talk to a child about how we don't say 60 minutes past the hour, but the 60 is there because we have 60 minutes in an hour. Now that your child is confident in putting the multiples of five around the clock, now they can do what, Hamza? Read the time! Yes. I can put a time on here, and Hamza, because he's done this already, can tell me what time is showing. 10 minutes past 9. Yes, and Hans was completely correct in saying 10 minutes past 9. We like the children to include the minutes past each time they say it, because otherwise they start to mix up minutes and hours at a later date. You can also talk to them about how the hour hand is a little bit shorter, that's why it's pointing to the one that's closer to it, and the minute hand stretches all the way out, oops, to the minutes. You can keep going with a variety of times all the way around the clock. So even if we are over on this side, what do we say, Hamza? What time is this? Then that is 40 minutes past 11. Is it past 11? Or is it still in that Actually 10 past zone? 10. Yes. Okay, My be. hour hand is a little too close to 11, but. And children will often find it tricky to say, past 10 even though this hour hand is getting closer to 11. So you'll need to discuss and just prompt them that this is what we call the 10 zone usually, the 9 zone. So if the hour hand is still just before the 10 then it still counts as 9 for example. Don't worry about doing minutes to the hour. We often get the children to do minutes past for several months, maybe even a year before they start doing minutes to. You'll know when your child is ready to do a minutes to the hour because they'll probably start doing it naturally at some point. We've done a little bit of practice with writing minutes, saying minutes past the hour, then you can start writing it at the bottom here. So Hamza, could you write down the time that's shown on there for me? Once you've practiced saying the times out loud, you can practice writing times in digital form at the bottom of your clock. As your child will be used to saying something minutes past the hour, Instruct them to start writing the digital time with minutes first, rather than the hour. If you would like to practice this with worksheets, free downloads will be available at kinlearning.com. One other way of practicing reading digital time and analogue time is if you write a time at the bottom there for your child, they can read it to you. So what time have I written here, Hamza? 45 minutes past four. Yep, yeah. and now can you put that on the clock as well? I like it closer to five. Yeah.
Lastly, you can make sure your child really knows where the multiples of 5 go on the clock by giving the multiples to your child at random and asking them to place them on the clock. Once they're able to do this confidently, they should be able to start reading and writing time without the multiples on the clock.